Guys, this is Chad from Monastancer Gaming. We're going to do another Dragon Quest Builders. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the way that the first one went. I, I really like this game. It's going to be interesting right now. We're going to be starting to play. I'll just leave it on this main screen right now. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the video, the first video. Make sure you subscribe, like, turn on notifications. Need all the help we can get. We're like 61 subscribers and I just want to keep building the channel all the games I'm playing. Just let me know what you think of the channel and what I need to do better and if you have any suggestions for this game, what I can be doing. But on this video we're going to be trying to find the creepy guy. The guy that Pippa was scared of. But now we're supposed to find him so we can join our group. So it's kind of random but that's what we're starting on now. So here we go. Hopefully it won't be too loud outside, there's got people mowing lawns and stuff like that. That's the only problem playing the game over here. Whoa, I don't know why I'm on that. Let's just go in there, there we go. Yeah, this time of day people are out there doing random stuff, so it's like, yeah, can't, can't really get away from it. It's going to happen no matter what. It's, let's go see if we can knock out some of these drachmae, maybe. Oh, that one actually got me. First grass seed, it says. Oh. <laughs> so I'm just trying to go around and get all, all different things that I can, just so we have it. Because you never know what they're going to ask me to build after I go find that guy. I need to try to get some of these blocks. Oh, what did I just do? I don't know what, I don't know what I just did. Right here, I'm just gonna grab some that are on the edge right there where they're not gonna be in the way. Oh man, that, that time the slime actually got me. There's a good spot to get some, since it's not really connected to anything. So on the last one it said that that queue is where we need to go, that's like your quest. Your flag is going to be your location of where the camp is. Okay, we got a decent amount now. I'll get a few more just so I have them. If I start doing too much though, I'm going to end up losing my thing. Let me go over this way and see where we're at. There's a fire over here, so I don't know if the guy's over here or so. something. Come on. I was gonna say, I should be able to knock that slime. What about this box right here? Our first crate, it says. Oh, the bonfire is burning brightly. It looks like it's been freshly stoked. Oh. I've... Okay. Looks like we need to eat some stuff, maybe. Yeah, let's just try to get her. Make sure we're fully on there for right now. Grab a couple more of those while we're at it. Gosh, I gotta stop getting so close to the slime. I mean, they're not, they're not ones that are very tough, but you still wanna watch where you're going. So we found where the So we found where that was. We found a fire. Now we just gotta look for the person that started the fire. I'm thinking it's probably that the guy that she wanted us to find. Oh, here's an actual place right here. Somebody's house and everything right here. These ancient it's probably supposed to be ancient books are so difficult to read. Ciphering the canceling? Wow. I'm not even going to try to read that. The handwriting is so bad that Megan cannot summon up the will to read anymore. I don't blame her. Can I actually, can I actually use this to build stuff? No, I can't. Huh. 
I also played some cyber sticks, just so we have it. I think I got like three or four of them, but... Do I need to kill it here as well? Isn't that... I got all sorts of stuff. How do I... I can plant that bud. I'll do that when I get back to the camp. So, the way it's looking to me... The way it's looking to me, I need to go over this way. I hope I'm going the right way. It's hard to see through some of the, the walls. I mean, you can see your character, but at the same time, it's like... It's kind of a pain to be able to... Item bag is full. Oh, hello, anybody there? Yes, I am here. This is probably the person we're looking for. Hello, cop. Is somebody there? Those rotten monsters have buried me alive. They completely cover me in earth and I cannot and I can't get out. Please, whoever you are, get me out of here. Yeah, this looks like it's probably that guy. There we go. Hey, dude, you can get out, man. Do you want me to just destroy the whole thing or what? Hey, dude, I'm right here. It's weird how he's kind of sitting there. It's like... Free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young man. Wah ha 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 ha. That was random. Who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny looking face. What? You say you're building a town near here? Let me help. Let me join your city and help to rebuild it. Okay, sure. What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. I am Rolo, the proud owner of that most... Venerable of books, the Cantlin Chronicle. Okay. Okay, let's go to the town now. So we officially picked him up. I think later on we can actually... I need to see how I can get... How do I get... Oh, okay, I did not want to do that. Oh. see how I can actually move move my items. I don't know if it actually says anything. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything about moving items. Well, that is a pretty good fighter. I want to see I want to see how we could do with the fighting. So nice thing that there. Okay, why is it not let me Oh I don't have any that's why. Max HP increase. Oh, cool. Well, that works. First Cora Lily Bud. See, I think that's going to be the biggest thing is trying to figure out how I'm supposed to. I need to get back to the camp. It's starting to get dark. I want to get back to the camp before anything happens. get back there as quick as we can before I don't think at this point there will be any crazy monsters but you never know see so yeah, I just need to figure out how to put these things in my inventory there's got to be a certain button that you can press to get to it yeah, I still think it's funny that it's like hey there's a strange guy that was staring at me how about we get him to join our group? It's like, uh, sure, I guess. Where are ya? Really? Pippa, what are you doing? Okay, there we go. No. 
Hey, you found someone to join our town. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? He might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling himself and stroking this enormous book. But he's got a beard. He must be pretty dependable, right? Because he has a beard. Okay. That's weird. We can all work together and make this the best city in the whole of Aleph Garden. Aleph Garden. Hey, another seed of life. So I can keep increasing my... Did I get one or not? Wait a minute. I don't see my... Hmm. Hmm. Hey, where's my seed of... There it is. That should increase me to 45. There we go. Okay, tight. So if you hit tidy up. Oh. Did I just miss? What did I just do? I, yeah, I want to tidy up, but I want to see about. Is there a way to move? I don't know. It's kind of weird. So I can actually plant this stuff. I wonder what good it'll do if I plant it, though. What was the other one that I had? I had another one that I could plant. I think it was this one right here. I don't know, we'll plant it and see what happens, I guess. Can I talk to this guy? By my bristly brows, this town is pos positively brimming with life. This guy actually sounds really excited. My mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Cantlin Chronicles, an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down by family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell mankind's hapless history in the lost art of creation and construction. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not going to read it all because it gets me a little tired when I'm reading it. Our meeting is no mere coincidence. Megan, I assure you, we are destined to rebuild this magnificent town to get a... Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this works with this dude, but... Okay. Looks like we need to... What? He's not going to have anywhere to sleep. Sorry, dude. Sorry, dude, but we don't have any beds for you. I'll have to build another bed, I guess. Yeah, let's go over there and build another bed for him. Straw mattress, what? Grassy leaves, I only have some. This is really small. We'll try to just put it right here. Put three in a row like that. Megan, my friend, I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims. Was it truly you who constructed these buildings? Well, some of them. If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things, a gift that mankind lost so we didn't know Could it be that you are the builder of whom the can't live? Chronicle speaks, the legendary figure, blessed with the power of construction. I don't know why they were always making fun of her face. It's weird. It says if the builder had a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Like, that's just weird. It's like, what, what? It's so strange. They were always making fun of her with her face, and she never says anything back. It's like, what? Well, that's strange. Path across the mountains between this town and the place where you and I first met was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? The Cantlin Chronicle describes a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. Ah, it's probably yeah, fat, like a fast travel type thing. A 
most convenient contrivance that lets you travel at blind speed and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Megan, my child, you need only lay your hands upon the new material to serve me. What items can be built from them? The chimeras you see roll at the foot of the mountains. Yeah, I know the chimeras, they always shoot fire at you. Use your compass to find them, but you might not lose your way. They're not that hard to fight, but they, they can get just kind of, they get kind of annoying, I guess you could say. They get very annoying sometimes. Oh, I need, where's my cream stuff? Yeah. I thought I'm um, just got all kinds of blocks. That's alright. It's good. I guess it's good just to be prepared. Got all this land, you might as well, might as well use it. Especially if you have places you can already climb up on and you're fine. I might as well get close to 100 just so I have it. And then I get back to playing it. Come on, slime. Which slime? Okay. Yeah, I just think you might as well have as much as you can. Wow, that's weird. It only went to 99. It went to 99, and that's all you can hold on that one. So maybe I want to walk, kind of watch it again. Because now it's like I got that extra spot that's taken by other stuff. Maybe later, hopefully, you can make like a bag or something. Maybe like a higher inventory or something. We'll see. Did I really just get myself trapped here? Not very good. Cool. Okay, I guess I did. There we go. Just a little random one. It's like, it didn't even look like that big of a spot. And then it's like, okay. Okay, so yeah, we gotta go find the chimeras. Like I said, they're not that bad of a deal. I mean, I got 40. I'm looking at 45 right now. I don't know why I even have this. Do I need the bonfire? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Hey, mushrooms. Cool. Oh, mushrooms. Mushrooms is the name of them. Yeah, that's the biggest thing. There they are, right there. I'm gonna get my club out. Oh, great. Oh great, that one's trying to shoot fire on me. Great. Wonder how many of these I need. Got lots of health. There we go. So I took both of those guys out. Did it say? No, oh, that's not the one. It's not bad, you can just like avoid, I mean you can just rotate around, just wait until they shoot the fire. You wait until they shoot the fire at you and then you have a chance of going around. I wonder what's up here. Oh. I'm trying not to get myself all stuck in. So you cannot place that in midair, I guess. I'm trying to just do it where you... Just have to build it like a steps. Oh. Okay, that's not gonna work on that side, I guess. It's probably gonna be the same, it's gonna be the same thing, because you got these ones that can't be, you can't climb up it. So. Not what I wanted. Yeah, I just lost a lot of, not a lot of health, but I lost some health. Still trying to get used to the controls on this. I mean, it's gonna take, it's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while to get used to it. The jumping around and stuff like that. Yeah, I'll see if I can figure out how to get up. I just have to get rid of some of it like that. See, I'm good when I get up here, but then I. I 
want to get this. Ah, that's better. I honestly don't know why I'm trying to go up here, but I don't know if this looks cool. Maybe in midair. I'm not in midair. Box works, it's not. It's not like it. It doesn't really let you go. I'm trying to figure out how to get up there without making all the treasures and stuff. Now it's just trying to figure out if I know how to build. If I know how to build stuff. Oh, and let me do it when I'm just standing there, huh? Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, great. Ah, great. Man, it gets dark fast. You don't need to get, you don't get a chance. Yeah, I might have to leave that for another time. I just can't get up there right now. Can I get up there? So I have no way of getting up there. That's, that's a problem, I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep getting myself in trouble. Now what if I go like this? Ah, there we go. I thought I had it. Stay out here if I'd be alright. Well, probably as long as I'm not like messing around a little. So close, if I can just do that. What if I stay up here if I'd be alright? Not having to worry about the creatures or whatever. There we go, what did I get? Oh, nice, I got another one. Oh, I don't have any room though. Great. Equipment. 
These are basically all stuff I've already done. I'm not sure. I lose my items if I warp. Tidies it up, but that's not. This is the confusing part, I don't know. Oh, sheesh. The uh, moment I heard that, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that, alright. Ah, I gotta watch the flames. There's a lot of these. Great. I gotta watch it. There we go. I got a 42. Holy cow, I have been fighting. I got tons of money. I gotta get out of here before they all shoot fire at me. Okay. It's daytime now, so we should be alright. It's daytime now, so I think we're all, I think we're all good. Now it's just a matter of, oh. It's just a matter of, like, how we need to, how many of those we needed. It still shows a queue on there, like I need more, but let's go back here and see what we need to do. Make something with the camera. Where's our... I don't remember where my thing is. Camaro wing. Camaro wing. So I needed five and I have eight. So I'm alright. There we go. There we go. So we got that part done. Nope. Yeah, you gotta be pretty close to talk to them. I'm gonna you mess it up. Out about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Ever since the light was lost to us and the realm plunged in darkness, the people of Left Guard have waited for this day to come. The day that benevolent Rubus would send the builder to save us. Megan, my child, you needed only to touch a chimera's feather to know that how you could build from it. Seek out more materials and speak to those around you, and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings, my child. If you should see anything that you have never seen before, be sure to collect it. You and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must complete the glorious restoration of the once great city of Camp. Secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. This place was once girdled all about by fearsome fortifications, tall turrets, and towers to keep the monster at bay. It is even said that a great golem once watched over the city, keeping all inside safe from harm. Huh, that's interesting. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, nothing remains of Cantlin but ruins. How could such a wretched fate have come to pass? So this guy, man, he knows a lot about the history and stuff like that, so it's cool. No doubt that with your powers in my book, it is only a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Megan. He, 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 ba ha ha ha. Okay, so his laughing is kind of random. He laughs at like the most random time, I guess. Okay, it looks like the Pippa wants us to do something. You know, Megan, I've been so starving lately, I can eat my own head. All this building and venting is hungry work, so I've been thinking. If we had something to cook with, we could make all sorts of delicious, nutritious meals. What do you think? Can you think of something we could build to cook things on? If you do think of anything, put it in a room with a chest so that we can store the delicious 
This is the way. So yeah, I'm making sort of a trick game. Okay. Megan works out how to make a cook fire. So I'm building the room from the ground up. The room must have a two block high wall all around the door and a light source. So this time it looks like we can just do our own our own thing. I'm gonna try to just fill it in. I'm gonna try to fill in this one. I don't think we need anything too crazy. We need to move all these leaves and stuff. I'm just gonna try to yeah, I'm just gonna try to fill it in. Let's see if we can get this thing going. Oh, go on. Oh gosh. Oh. Look at that. 
Oh, io sì, scusa. How it, how's it lining up? I don't understand. That's not when this file is projecting. There we go. It's pretty small though. We got a small, very small area. Go watch this. I think that blue she wanted me to build a chest. Okay, well, let's take this over here. Put it on top of the. Uh, whatever. Put it right on top of the camping thing, but. Well, she's happy that I did it. Blimey, you did it. You made me a place to cook. All sorts of scrummy food. Scrummy? Like scrumptious? And that chest is perfect. If I make anything really, really tasty, I'll put it in there so you can try it. But, okay, cool. So I got plumberry. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of weird though where the chest is. There's not much I can, not much I can do about it, I guess. But whatever. Yeah, we gotta figure out what we're doing with that. Seems we have a kitchen now. This creative power of yours is a wonderful thing. I wonder if your culinary skills are equally exemplary. Let's say you test them out, make me something to eat. What? Make it yourself? You'll build the whole kitchen for Kippa, but you want to make me a single measly meal? You wound me, I thought we were friends. I saw some delicious looking orange mushrooms growing down by the water's edge. I'm sure you could make a terrific meal out of a fine ingredient like that. Three servings should do the trick. Sure, dude. Some of this stuff. Because eventually we'll be built more stuff. I don't know why my camera is all wonky like that. I don't know, it's not showing like a it's not showing a place where I can move I can move it, so okay. so how many do I have? I got six mushrooms. Shrooms on a stick, maybe? Is that what you want? No, I don't know what you want, dude. Wow. I think I said three. I'll make another one just so we have it. On three separate servings. Megan, my friend, do I detect the succulent scent of freshly roasted mushrooms? The fragrance alone is a mellow melody of mouth-watering flavors. By my growling gizzard, these shall make a magnificent meal. Come now, hand them over. Quick, quick, quick. Marvelous work, Megan. We should all have to re rename you the cooker. Whoa, ha, 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 ha. Him and his weird laugh. Pardon, you want to see it yourself? The cat win chronicle with your own two eyes? I'm sorry, Megan, but that book is a priceless family heirloom. You can't just go parading around in front of anyone to ask. Besides, the tome was written in an ancient cryptic script. There's no way that you or anyone else would be able to read it. What little knowledge I myself have gleaned from it has taken years of painstaking study. Especially if it's like the notes that he had on there where you can't even read it. Shall not rest until I've deciphered each and every one of his secrets. Fear not, my friend, I will not keep these secrets to myself. As soon as I make a breakthrough, you'll be the first to know. 
Well, that's good to know. As for these marsh rooms, it's only fair that you should taste the fruits of your labors too. Take this as a token of an everlasting friendship. Shrooms on a stick. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting idea of food. It's crazy how it's like the moment you get done with the quest, it's like boom, another one jumps in. What? Have I finished reading that book yet? Learn some patience, young lady. I made it quite clear that you would be the first to know of any secrets I uncovered. So it's going to be a constant thing where you're going to have quests after quests after quests, but that's fine. I mean, that's what these type of games you like. Deciphering the Cantland Chronicle will take time, Megan. Our work on restoring the city has only just begun. I suggest that while I continue my studies, you labor to rebuild the city to its former greatness and prove yourself the ability to find it. You can increase the level of your pace, but be wary that you do not place your decorations more than two blocks above the floor for such items will not count for your points total. Now, can you think of anything we can use to decorate all these new rooms you're about to build? I don't know. I guess she knows. Hot. An earthen urn that can be used to store one's personal property. This is room for improvement. Decorate the rooms in your base with furniture and other items to add points to your base meter. Fill your rooms with decorative items to take your base to a whole new level. Interesting. Most of these we don't even have room for, but build up the base to level 2, it says. I'll eat that later, I guess. So the options one just lets you if you look this way so you can kind of glance all over the place. So what do we need to what do we need to actually build a pot? Three earth and one goo. I was like, yeah. Oh, that's a hundred worth score. So my pots are just going to be sitting there. Okay, so we got the pots. So, if I just throw a pot in the corner right here, it gives me 50. Pretty big pots for like the. This room is terribly, this room is terribly small. Whatever. The only other room we have is this one right here. We have, oh. I only have two pods. But. So it's always good if you can to make sure you sleep. I mean, you don't have to, but if you sleep, then it makes it so you can. You don't have to worry so much about your health. So your health automatically will go up because you're resting. Okay, so we got a couple of pots there. See if we have anything to it. Oh, here we go. So we can put these in the chest then. Okay, so that's how you do it. I was having a brain, having a brain part. Yeah, let's put that away. Okay, so that's what you do is just go to that. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm gonna do that. Put that up there. Sweet. Tidy that up just so we have it. Should be good for a little bit there. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. Okay. So do, can I put it like in more than one in each area or what? Like how does that work? I think it has to be inside the rooms. So that might not have been Nice thing is if you put it in the wrong spot you can always go and break it. You can always break it and then it'll come back. And then, then you automatically have it, so it's not bad. I'm supposed to be working on getting it up to level 2, but I don't know.
was gonna make it. I was gonna make one here. Just so I can kind of have it figured out here. Just have an extra area. Because I'm guessing soon we're probably gonna have more people, so we wanna make sure we get that going. Need one more of those leaves. I don't know why I keep running out of leaves. It's pretty weird. And they're all over the place. Big of deal. I'm gonna grab a couple of lime out here because it's just annoying. But... Yeah. Petals, okay. So I planted so I planted those ones and I just got rid of them. Get rid of the rocks while I'm at it. There is some stuff around the building. Oh, I thought I actually destroyed the building. Okay. I'm not sure how big this door is. I guess we'll see. Okay, so I still need. That's one we need to do. Is that the building one? That's the one we need to get rid of for right now, because we don't really need that. I'm just gonna put a torch. I'm just gonna put the torch in that room so it's done and then we'll have to make a pot for it. Huh. <laughs> I love how I accidentally do that. There we go, I built an empty room. Let's see if it takes us to level 2. Ooh, almost. So I just need to make a uh, pot put in that room there. Well, so that's the only thing I don't like right there is. I was going to say, that's the only thing I don't like is when they're sitting right there. Should get us up to level two. Level up. Huh. Megan's base grows to level two. We got an extra seat or an extra mattress in case somebody comes. I'm impressed. Not only are you the legendary builder, but some of your powers are becoming ever greater. Megan, my child, no matter how many monsters you defeat, you will grow no stronger. But only by the weapons you wield and the armor you wear will you will your might as a warrior increase. I'm sorry to say though that I've made scant progress in deciphering that Cantlin Chronicle. It sounds like it's going to be a while with this guy. I dare say it will be some time still before. By my sensitive ears, did you hear that? Quest complete. Hey, another seed of life. So that's the way you can keep increasing your... Oh. What's going on? What's going on? But hey. Megan, I have the most terrible tidings. I know not what has driven them to it, but the monsters plan to attack your great city. Ah, great. The vicious beasts that dwell hereabouts are hidden here in groves. The town is at the seat of all the left guard's rest. Okay. 
there. So it has there where you can do as many as you need, as you want. So it's always good just to do that. I'm gonna make another open club just so I have it. The one I have looks fine, but I just wanna make sure we have enough for doing battle. So I guess this is our first real test right here. So I'm just gonna skip through this real fast. This is your first true battle, Megan. But fear not, for I know you will prevail. I sure hope so. We don't really have any don't have any like defenses, that's the problem. Defeat the monsters, it says. It says five some skeletons. Oh cool. I love I love my skeletons. Skeletons are a little tougher than they usually are just because this one's a little tougher, I'm gonna have to walk to my home. Oh that did I was like, that didn't really help me. They're a little tougher just because you're not used to being like this little person like this. There you go, did you see that? Whoa. So how many it says phase one of one? Victory. There we go. So that was our first battle. Well done, my child. You have saved Cantlin from the monster's audacious advances. As hope wells within the townspeople's heart, so too will your banner of hope grow, blanketing the land with even more with ever more warm and tender light. But now it seems the location of your base is known to the Dragon Lord's vile vassals. The monsters fear that should the people of Alephgard band together, they will lose their dominion over these lands. No doubt these beasts will launch yet more offensives ere long and attempt to crush this beacon of hope. We must protect this place, my child, whatever it takes. Great. Hmm. You, know, you do not know if you are equal to the task? In fact, you do not really understand what this task I've given you is all about. You just want to build things, not fight the monsters? Well, we kind of have to fight the monsters. I don't think we have much choice. That may well be so, but as you come to know more of the people here, you will realize that with great power comes great responsibility. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really liking this game, and I love seeing the different characters from like Dragon Quest XI, and then also like the Dragon Quest Heroes, and the game I've been playing. So. I've done all I can for this benighted land. The rest is up to you, my child. Work together with your new friends and restore the city of Cantlin to its former greatness. I must leave you now, but I know that we shall meet again when your work here is done. So hopefully, yeah, there won't be as much talking and stuff, but... It looks like that we get... Obtains a pair of blue tablet fragments. I don't know what that's for. Oh, I don't know what just happened there. It looks like there's some material out here that we can get. Yeah, right. There. What is this? What is this blue fragment thing? Over? Just one tablet fragment, so I don't have it for a while. What do you do? Come here. Brilliant work showing those blinders who's boss, Megan. But it seems the filthy fiends have found our humble settlement. We have no way of knowing when they might strike next. We must devise some means to keep them at bay. I need to put some like fences around there. By the way, I noticed that you found a pair of curious stone fragments. Yep, I had seen an artifact similar design in the Cantlin Chronicle. Man, actually I am. I investigated further. If you were to stick those fragments together again, I believe they will form a device known as a teleportal. Oh, okay, cool. Apparently you can just plonk that thing down on the ground. Hey, press it. It'll whisk you away on a sunbeam to a place where you can find whatever your heart's desire. A builder like yourself putting together a thing like that should be a piece of cake. Well, Megan, do you think you can glue that teleportal together again? Glue it together. Uh, sure, I guess so. An ancient artifact that can convey, convey you to far flung fields. Well, this place can be used to travel to and from another island. Well, that would be cool. Oh, 
Oh, who's this? I saw a great shaft of light on the horizon and thought it warranted an investigation. Imagine my surprise when I discovered a bustling village. So this person we already have a bed for. So, but who are you and what are you doing in a place like this? You're building a city? Huh. Good luck with that. If you expect people to work together and live in harmony, you have another thing coming. I hate to burst your bubble girl, but there's not a man alive who has the luxury of looking out for anyone but himself. That's funny. Speaking of which, I'm tired now. After that trick, I'll stay here and rest for a while if you don't mind. Sure. The name's LaRouche. Shan't be staying long, I don't think, but in any case, please make your acquaintance. I'm glad I made an extra bed. I'm trying to get in the chest, but I can't. Well, I put that chest too close to the thing it is. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. We've got a chance to find the new guy. Well, we technically got new, two new people in the village. And then we also got to defeat the skeleton. So we'll just make sure you subscribe, like I said, and we'll talk to you later.